also enjoyable. That's Curriculum Development Officer in the Ministry of Education, Sandra Thomas. She says most schools should participate in the letter writing competition as writing has many benefits. We realize that there are certain schools that do not participate. We want all schools to participate in this worthwhile competition. It's very important because Based on the theme, we know that this should encourage students to research. So a competition like this encourages the children to develop their research skills. It encourages the creative abilities and help in the development of the creative skills. And this is an excellent way to connect, not just with persons locally, but internationally. There will be a local chapter of the competition and the top entry will be entered into the international competition in Switzerland. Marketing representative of the Grenada Postal Corporation, Arlington Martin, says there are attractive prizes to be won. The first prize, the winner, the winner gets seven hundred dollars. That's easy. Plus the school get a get to have a free GPC Global box membership. And second prize will be two hundred dollars, same as the school. The school get a free GPC Global membership. Third prize two hundred dollars, followed by the same GPC Global membership. As she mentioned earlier, the winning school get get the challenge trophy. If the school win for two consecutive years, they get to keep the trophy. Um, the school with the most entry. We'll get, uh, we get a plaque. So over the years, you know, SARS are the most entries. So SARS get a plaque. So we hope they say other schools could, could, could beat SARS, maybe 60 entries or more. A new group has been set up in one of the country's most poverty-stricken parishes to encourage the development of small businesses. It's called Uprising Entrepreneurs from Victoria. Two of its members appeared on the GIS Spice Morning on Thursday, saying the organization is all about alleviating poverty through employment. The Uprising Entrepreneur is a newly formed group to actually take a different approach to community-based organization. Most of them, as you know, we... Um, we form organizations just to speak to all the social ills of, of the, the parish or the community. However, the Uprising Entrepreneur has taken a different approach to actually speak to that specific something. We have this uniqueness about us. It is all about alleviating poverty and creating that economical strength and to also speak to education on a whole. So we're speaking to capacity building, we're speaking to the cognitive development when it comes to education, not just the academia, but the person's mentality and everything like that. So the president Chapman is not just about doing an, a community project, for example, doing an environmental project. It's about a more in-depth and a more personal approach to young people. Kieran Philip, president of the organization. Philip says his group has a number of projects in the pipeline that will meet their targets. The ambitious plan creates a linkage between planting crops, agro-processing and animal production. We have already built over three or four projects that we're looking to implement. Basically, mainly those projects are along the agriculture field. Right? So we're building projects around that field so that young people mm -hmm. can get the opportunity to create employment for themselves and you know to take the initiative to start becoming independent rather than um, waiting on people to develop things for them so we would build the programs we would build the projects we would form um how to put it we would form different groups we would form different persons within the community and we would hand uh -huh. them the project to them but the thing is the uprising entrepreneurs would go out there seek the sponsorship seek the funding whether be it from marit be it from the Ministry of Youth, mm -hmm. be it from Jeff, wherever the funding are, we are going to look for it and we're going to build a focus group to actually, to actually um, implement the projects themselves. Mm -hmm. Now we get into your sporting highlights. Over 150 students took part in the 5th Seoul Eastern Caribbean Secondary Schools Table Tennis Championship at the Grenada Youth Center on Thursday. The student athletes from across 15 schools competed in various age categories, 15 and on the girls, 15 and on the boys, 18 and on the girls, and 18 and on the boys. The championship also saw two schools entering for the first time. They are the JW Fletcher Catholic 
Catholic Secondary School and the Happy Hill Secondary School. The one-day event organized by the Ministry of Sports began with a short opening ceremony with representatives from Saul Eastern Caribbean Limited, the Ministry of Education, and the Ministry of Sports. Representing the title sponsor, Saul, was marketing manager Ms. Keisha Charles. Charles stated that Saul is pleased to be the main sponsor for the fourth consecutive year. Saul EC Limited, the Caribbean's largest distributor of petroleum products, is pleased to be the sponsor of this, e this event for the fourth consecutive year. We are happy to contribute to youth development together with the Ministry of Youth, Empowerment and Sports to ensure the success of this event. She encouraged them to put their best forward, not only in academics, but in sports. In recent years, many of our local sports personalities has gone on to educational opportunities through scholarships at varying universities because of the excellence sportsmanship. I just want to let each of you know that you too have the same opportunity if you put forward your best efforts in your schoolwork and in your sport discipline and accept the coaching and mentoring of those entrusted to do so, you too can become a great sportsman in your area. To declare the tournament open was coordinator of sports in the Ministry of Sports, Conrad Francis. According to Mr. Francis, monies invested in sports embraces different areas. When you invest money into sports, you are embracing a number of different areas. You are embracing health, you are embracing education. So it's not just sports. So we welcome your contribution to this tournament and we hope that you will continue to do so. The first to third place winners will receive trophies and table tennis rackets. India goes two up on Sri Lanka in one day international series. Um, Bati Raidu smashed 121 runs of 118 balls as India defeated Sri Lanka by six wickets with 33 balls to spare on Thursday. Sri Lanka won the toss and decided to bat. Captain Angelo Matthews led the front with 92 as Sri Lanka was able to post a total of 274 for the loss of eight wickets from the allotted 50 overs. The pick of the bowlers for India was Askar Patel. He finished with figures of 10 overs, one maiden, two for 39. The Indians made light work of the Sri Lankan total when it was their turn to bat. Man of the match, Ambati Raju, hit his first ODI century, Shika the one chipped in with 79. India finished on 275 for four as they clinched victory with 33 balls remaining. They now lead the five match series 2 0. The third ODI will be played on Sunday, 9th of November in Hyderabad. Gordon Hayward beat the buzzer as the Utah Jazz got past LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers 102 to 100 on Wednesday night. Hayward broke free of James to catch an inbounds pass, faked a move to the basket and then stepped back on the right wing and swished a 21-foot jump shot as the horn sounded. Hayward finished with 21 points. He was helped by his teammate. Favors dropped 21 points and pulled down 10 rebounds as the Jazz celebrated victory. LeBron James finished with 31 points, 3 rebounds, and 4 assists. Cleveland's point guard Kyle Irving had 34 points and new addition added 14 as the Cavs lost for the second time in two nights. LeBron James and the Cavs' next game is on Friday. They will take on the Denver Nuggets in Denver. That sports and now we recap the main points in tonight's news. Grenada to host Nutmeg Spice Festival. Tourism Minister receives kudos from head of UN World Tourism Organization for work done. And a new organization has been set up to address poverty in rural Victoria. On behalf of everyone here at the Government Information Service, I am Abigail McIntyre. Thank you for joining me.